Alright, what's up guys? Cowboy here. I wanted to make a video because I've been trying to build this circuit that would use a heartbeat sensor to close a door uh, behind somebody. Like an enemy comes in, it, it locks them in. And I was finally able to do it and I want to share it. Now, uh, this is a trap base that we built and we thought, you know, it'd be better if when they walk in this front door, the door slams shut behind them because of the sensor and then there's Tesla coils under the floor you can roast them this is what I came up with I finally was looking at tutorials I finally found something that showed me how to use a memory cell to make this work let me show you how it works then I'll show you how to build it my, like my handy guide right here red or green red means that it's ready the trap is armed and it will function and it will function once and then it will shut off so you can see it's green green it's not ready to go so main power on okay then this is the reset switch and now you see the the light on the timer comes on it's green red the trap is armed if I walk out there the door sensor will operate and see if the door was already open it would close which is how this works. You leave the door open, somebody walks in and closes behind them. It's beautiful. And then all you need to do to make it work again is hit the reset button. Boom. It's armed. Okay, now, let me show you how to build this. I'm going to build server so I can show you how to build this circuit. You need two splitters. You need a switch. You need two timers, you need a door controller, a memory cell, a heartbeat sensor, and a small battery. To make this work, we're going to put the uh, heartbeat sensor on the outside of this door. Let me put the door controller right here. Pair it to the door. So first, we need a splitter. We're going to run power into the splitter. Then it goes out to three places. I'll we'll hit a switch. The second one goes to the heartbeat sensor. Power in third one goes to a small battery. Put a small battery over here. Now, after the switch comes the memory cell. So the switch goes into the memory cell. The memory cell goes out into a timer Gonna need a timer over here, or I need a timer down here. Okay, so you want to use the inverted output. Goes into the power in for the timer, and out of that, the timer is going to go into the splitter. Now the splitter is going to power the door controller. It's also going to go to the set function on the memory cell. Yeah, so now it functions. But now both lights are green because the memory cell toggled, which killed this timer. The timer now has no power, which means the circuit has to be reset which is where this other timer comes in. See, it only runs once and it shuts itself off. There's no way you can reset it without using the reset on the memory cell. And this, this timer for the reset button needs its own power supply. That's why we're using this battery. Because when the circuit dies, You've got to have another source of power. 
that's why I use the small battery. So now, the only thing that's missing now is you got to come out of the heartbeat sensor and go into the toggle switch on the timer. It's wired up pretty ugly, but anyway. You can see both lights are green means that the system has to be reset in order for it to operate. See, so walk out here, nothing happens, it doesn't trigger. I hit our reset switch over here. Now the system is armed. Now the heartbeat sensor will trigger this timer and shut the door. Voila, there you go guys. This uh, took me several days of tinkering to actually you know, find what I needed to make it work. And so I wanted to share it. This is perfect for a trap base to, sh to shut a door on somebody, but surely there's other uses for it. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Have a good one.